everyone. Flushing Friday part two. <laughs> I didn't quite figure out the Instagram rooms um, for today, but that's okay. Um, so we're going to be joined in a few minutes by uh, Lavinia Winch. And Lavinia is the ambassador for Yes Organics, um, which is a really good vaginal moisturizer and also um, um, lubricants. They do a lot of products um, uh, around vaginal health um, and sexual health as well. Um, and the ingredients are very, very good for the majority of women. They work really, really well. Um, you know, the, the ingredients, as I said, they're organic, they're well sourced, etc. Um, and just a really good product. Now, I do know many of you have been messaging me in relation to supply um, at the moment. Brilliant lives today. Oh, thanks, Marianne. Um, okay. Uh, hopefully, this is Lavinia coming on now. Um, hey, Lavinia, how are you? I'm good. Thanks very much. I wasn't sure whether you were coming back again. Oh, yes, yes. yeah, no, as I said, we just obviously ran a bit over there with Emily. <laughs> um, yes, Marianne, glad to see that. Uh, just someone is commenting there about how Yes Organics has been a lifesaver. Um, so, Lavinia, I was just explaining that um, you are an ambassador for Yes Organics and thrilled to say you're one of the many sponsors of the Menopause Success Summit, which is great. And, um, I hear a bit of an echo, hopefully that will go. Does everyone hear that? Might just be me. It's fine for me. Is it? Okay. So, and another thing I will share later is you did a great blog this week, Lavinia, about your own story in relation to um, your journey through menopause, etc. So I will share the blog, but do you want to just give a little bit of a background in terms of how you got interested in menopause, all things menopause? Yeah, thank you, Catherine. Yeah, I mean, the, the blog that I've just written was uh, uh, focusing on a particular symptom that I think people aren't always aware of. Um, I think I mentioned in my blog that, like many others in, in the sort of 19, oh gosh, 1980s, um, I really wasn't aware of what the symptoms I might expect. You know, I'd had an, I remember my mum going through menopause and I remember the hot flushes and I think that's all I really knew. Mm -hmm. I certainly didn't know about any of the urogenital symptoms, so the vaginal dryness, the bladder symptoms, anything like that. And uh, it, it sort of, around about the age of 50, I started to experience some... Um, mild bladder symptoms and having had very bad cases of cystitis earlier in my life I was thinking oh gosh you know is this happening again um, and uh, didn't took maybe some antibiotics but these symptoms didn't really go away so I was referred to a urologist and they suggested a cystoscopy which is very common and a very good thing to do when you have some bladder symptoms um, and everything was normal and he never suggested, he never talked about my age or any other symptoms, mm -hmm. never suggested the relationship between the lack of estrogen as in perimenopause and menopause that can affect the bladder and the urethra as well. Mm -hmm. So some of those mild symptoms that we might experience of frequency, urgency, a little bit of a sensitive bladder, some people might call it overactive bladder. Yeah. can be related to lack of estrogen because the bladder and the urethra in a similar way to the vulva and the vagina have estrogen receptors mm. and for some people won't experience this at all some people might never have had but I think maybe if you've had some bladder infections in the past as you approach menopause and as you go through menopause it is possible that you're more sensitive to that lack of estrogen mm. and I think the other thing that sorry I a lot of is misdiagnosed crush. Yeah, that's very common too. So again, there's those symptoms of vaginal dryness and around the vulva as well that can be a little bit itchy and sore, um, due again to the estrogen depletion. That can also be misdiagnosed. Mm -hmm. And actually that happened to me as well. <laughs> you know, yeah. I was given so much canister. And again, it, it's worth checking because it might be thrush. But if you've had, con if it's constant and you're not getting to the bottom of it, then it's worth considering. And I mm -hmm. think that it, it's absolutely right that people don't think of vaginal dryness. They just think of the fact that it might be dry and uncomfortable. 
but they don't realize that actually vaginal dryness or genitourinary syndrome of menopause or urogenital mm. atrophy, these are all terms that have a much wider implication, yeah. much more wider symptoms. And I think if we can understand that, and if we know that, we can recognize what might be going on, and then we can go to our GP with a, a sort of informed uh, opinion and yeah. work together with the GP and see if you can find the solution. And there are solutions. Mm. And I think that's where I think like the understanding of the importance of internal moisturizer is so important because I know for me in my earlier years I definitely felt that right how I came across yes genetics and I started using it myself and I just found the moisturizer a game changer for me. But I probably got it quite early. Yeah, and I think that, you know, the, the first thing that people think, it, it, maybe the first symptom that they're aware of is the dryness makes sex uncomfortable. It may not be, but there will be some people that won't necessarily be sexually active. They may not have a partner in life. And for those people, just the day-to-day -day comfort is important. Mm -hmm. and, and that's where a vaginal moisturizer rather than a lubricant is something that can be really, really useful. Yeah. So the difference is that that is something that you use to rehydrate the tissue on a daily basis for a long, over a long period of time. And then if you need something additional for, for intercourse and for sex, then that's when you would use a lubricant and also with with toys if you're self-pleasuring and that sort of thing so yeah and I, th I just think that the first line treatment for any of these vaginal symptoms during menopause are vaginal moisturizers and lubricants and it's always worth trying those first before you go down the route of of a local or a topical estrogen mm, yeah yeah I mean I guess I was very I just ended up using the moisturizer as well but I'm that might change at any time at that stage. So in relation to the summit and um, the menopause success summit uh, Lavinia and um, your thoughts on the lineup? Oh my goodness it's so impressive I just you know I don't know how you're going to fit it all into that day <laughs> <laughs> but what a fantastic wide uh, range of you know listening to Emily talking yeah the, the brain the gut mm. uh, obviously for me Emily and Trudy because that's our area of expertise yeah. that's the area that um, perhaps you know has affected me the most but um, Trudy like Emily says an amazing person a wonderful speaker fantastically empathic you know she's really amazing so that's that's great but my goodness what a fantastic lineup <laughs> thank you it's taken a fair bit of coordination but look it's the whole aim as i, I said is really to make sure we can give practical takeaway bite pieces of information that will empower and just help women that's all i want if someone says to me at the end of the day they got three things from the whole day i think i if they get more then brilliant but they will get more but you know i think it's just to kind of get as much knowledge as we can because we know so many women are starved of information when it comes to menopause yeah and the other thing if if um if the speakers are able to share resources or you're going to be sharing yeah. resources afterwards so that there's time mm -hmm. after the summit for people to know where where to go for help yeah. And, and at the Yes Company, we are delighted to be one of the sponsors. It's hugely important mm. that people understand that, yes, lubricants and moisturizers are important, but you need to choose them very carefully. You need to look at the ingredients. You need to make mm. sure that you're going for yeah. something that is safe and non-irritating. Yeah. And we will have a special offer, actually. We will have a discount. Oh, great. Brilliant. I know your share on the day. So yeah. from that day onwards... Until and, the end of October, there will be a 25% discount. Oh, fantastic. And I think the other thing, if it's okay to mention, is also the hope is that uh, we'll see all the S products fully back on shelves in Ireland uh, in September as well. 
Yeah, I'm, I think, I hope you're going to be able to send an email to your followers, Catherine, to just explain a little bit more detail. But I'm afraid it is a Brexit issue and it has yeah. been a real challenge for us. And we're very aware that this has been difficult for everybody, particularly in, in the Republic and in Northern Ireland as well. And actually across Europe. I mean, it really has yeah. been a very challenging time. But we, we're, we're hoping that by the middle of September, things will be. And in fact, the product should be available in Boots Island right now. Oh, brilliant. Oh, boots, okay. We've done drum, we've got Liffey Valley. And they're the two I would know of, but there might be other ones. But the other thing is, Virginia, you, you're not alone on this. So many companies have had the same situation because of Brexit. But I do know many people have been ordering online, and you know, it, it has, and also from the north. Um, so, you know, that has been helpful. But I think, the, look, we're, we're only a couple. We six weeks left to the summit now, which I think is mad. So it's only another couple of weeks to September. And I, I know anyone that has started with, with Yes Organics, when you've started using the products, you see how well it works for you, then you're, you're very reluctant which I certainly wouldn't, but you know, it, it's, it's, it's all about kind of finding what works for you. Um, Alex, the product I'm talking about is Yes Organic. They do a range of um, internal vaginal moisture, lubricants, water-based, oil-based, etc., that are extremely, extremely beneficial for, uh, not just for internal vaginal dry, but so, um, you know, for sexual pleasure as well. So perhaps we should, yeah. I mean, the the information is available on yesyesyes.org. That's the website. Mm -hmm. We may still be having difficulties sending product directly to customers because of the customs situation. So some people haven't received their product. Some people have had uh, big um, uh, charges to pay. So, but come the middle of September, everything should be fine. Unless you've got somebody in the UK who can bring you some over in Ireland. <laughs> But, it, you know, across the UK, the product is available everywhere now. I, I think um, I think there's a lot of followers for me on this, but I think people are managing to get it. It's just that they might have to scramble a little bit. But look, four weeks, that's not too long away. So uh, fingers crossed. Um, Lavinia, any, uh, what top tip going into the weekend would you give anyone listening? Yeah, my, my tip actually is, uh, not just the weekend, but I think on a monthly basis, I think we are not good enough about checking our vulva. Mm. I think we need to use a mirror every so often and make sure that we're aware of any changes. So this is all part of the know your body, yeah. that hashtag that is so important in terms of your sexual and intimate health and well-being. Know what's happening, recognize the changes, and just be comfortable about just checking the vulva to make sure that there's nothing going on there that's, that, it, that, that might indicate that there's a change of some sort. So yeah, I think that's really very important. Great. So just learn to feel comfortable mm -hmm. about using a mirror and checking your, your vulva and yeah. the entrance to your vagina as well. Yeah, that's such, so important, so important. So just to remind everyone, um, as I was saying earlier, and I will do a post at the weekend about the, the early word offer for the was Success Summit, as you know, happening on the 5th of September. There's a 35% discount on the tickets at the moment. So I really encourage you to have them while you can. We know it's going to be, as Lavinia said, we're packing a lot in today, but it's going to be a lot of really brilliant information. And there is going to be, you know, we don't have a good impact, but there will be some virtual equivalents, um, as Lavinia just mentioned. Thus, there will be takeaways, there will be um, information leaflets and different things that we're working on. So there's going to be a huge amount to gain on the day. So if you haven't got a ticket, do, um, do nab one before the price goes up. And Lavinia, thanks a million for joining us today. And uh, we will chat to you again soon. And thanks everyone for watching. Thank you, Catherine. We hope it goes really, really well. Oh, it will. It will. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Take care. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye.